This video is an introduction to loading the Bolex H16 camera. The Bolex is a high quality, versatile, spring-wound camera that produces an outstanding image. Loading the Bolex camera. The things you need are a camera, a roll of fresh film, or a dummy roll if you're practicing loading, a take-up spool, and any cleaning materials that you are using. Load the camera prior to your shoot. It's best to do all your camera prep in advance, especially for the first roll or two. Open the camera door. Use a camera or lens brush on the inside of the film chamber, brushing away any dust or small fragments of film. Check the camera's pressure pad. It should be clipped in and not moving laterally or up and down at all. Close the loop formers by turning the locking lever to the left. Use the camera's winding handle to put five or six winding revolutions on the camera motor. Turn the camera's filming speed down to 12 frames per second. Situate the fresh roll of film on the upper feed spindle of the camera. The fresh roll is B-wind, and it should be oriented coming off of the right side of the spool. Make sure the 100-foot spool is snapped fully onto the feed spindle. Let a little bit of film off the roll, maybe 10 to 12 inches. Use the film trimmer at the bottom of the chamber to trim your film diagonally across one of the film's perforations. Carefully take up your slack on the feed of the camera. Using the thumb of my right hand, I clamp the film against the bottom of the feed roll, and I turn my hand minutely in the clockwise direction in order to push the loose film end into the threading mechanism. Press and hold the run button and run the camera for a few seconds. Next you want to release the loop formers by pressing the button in the middle of the loop former lever. You'll probably have run off maybe a foot, maybe a little more than a foot of excess film. Offer the end of the film into the slot in the center spindle of the take-up spool and take up your film by hand. It should wind around the take-up spool to the right and it should mirror the configuration that the feed spool has. Mount the take-up spool onto the take-up spindle on the bottom of the film chamber. Run the camera for a few more seconds. Double check your loops and that the take-up spool is turning steadily to the right. If all seems well, put the camera door back on and lock it by turning the locking knob to the right. Make sure that the camera door is sitting flush against the camera's body and that it is not moving excessively. Put three or four more winds on the camera's motor with the winding lever and run the camera while watching the footage counter. You'll want to run the film until the footage counter reaches zero. That means that you're ready to shoot and that you've run off the length of film that has been exposed during the loading process.